Good morning, friends. I hope you all have had a good week. I bet some of you have been on spring break and maybe coming back home this weekend and getting ready for school tomorrow. Last Sunday was Easter Sunday, the most glorious Sunday, the most glorious day, I think, in our Christian calendar because it is Easter Sunday when we hear the good news that Christ has risen. So this week, what I want to talk about is right after the resurrection, after the tomb is empty and the disciples have scattered after Jesus died, and um, they, or at least many of them, are together um, locked in a house because they are afraid. Uh, word has gotten out that this man, Jesus, has risen, and so they're looking for his followers. You know, you and I have the luxury of knowing the whole story, the end of the story about Jesus and his, uh, the fulfillment of the prophecy and how everything that happened was part of God's plan. But for those early followers, um, this man Jesus had been put to death and they were still trying to figure out what was going on. Yes, he said, he did what he said he was going to do, but there's still a lot of fear and so the disciples are locked away. And that's what I want to talk about today in the scripture that I am focusing on is John chapter, nine, chapter 20, verses 19 through 23, when Jesus appears to his disciples. They are locked in this house, and then Jesus appears, and they recognize him. But at first, when Jesus comes in and stands among them, Jesus says to them, Peace be still. And that's what I want to talk to you about for a few minutes. Peace be still. You know, this past year, we have been locked in our homes. We've been locked out of many places, whether it's school, some of our favorite restaurants, uh, some of the places that we love to go, whether it was the zoo or the children's museum, even church. We have not been able to come in and to worship as we have done our whole lives. So we've been locked out in some ways from our regular routine. And sometimes when our routines are interrupted, whether it's the disciples following Jesus' resurrection, whether it's been us in the middle of COVID-19 pandemic, when we're locked out and things are not the same, we can be afraid very afraid because there's a lot of unknown. And the symbol that I have today, if you all can see what this is, it's a knot. And often when we are afraid, we feel like there's a big knot in our stomach. I bet we've had a lot of different knots this year, whether it is worrying about our safety and our health, or the health and safety of loved ones, when we were going to get to see somebody, maybe even worried about somebody who was sick with COVID-19. We've had a lot of reasons this year, in 2020 and into 2021, being very afraid and worried and full of knots, just like the disciples were. But what Jesus says to his disciples, he also says, to you and to me today. And that is, Jesus can take away the knots. There can be a straight line, no worries, because our peace will come from Jesus. And so the next time you're feeling some, some anxiety or feeling like you've got a knot in your stomach or in your chest, I want you to remember Jesus' words to his disciples in John chapter 20. Peace be still, and may the peace of Christ fill your heart, and I encourage you to share some of that peace with those in your midst. Let us pray. 
Lord, we know that our world is full of fear. You ask us, you tell us, you teach us to put our hope and trust in you. May our peace come from you and not the world around us. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Thank you. See you next time.